Fourth Amendment. The Fourth Amendment bars the government from unreasonable search and seizures of an individual or their private property. It reads, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath of affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. Most people don't realize that this amendment is often considered one of the most crucial to our liberty. The ultimate goal of this amendment is to protect people's rights to privacy and freedom from unreasonable intrusions by the government. However, the Fourth Amendment does not guarantee protection from all searches and seizures, but only those by the government and deemed unreasonable under the law. Whether a particular type of search is considered reasonable in the eyes of the law is determined by balancing two important interests. On one side of the scale is the intrusion on an individual's Fourth Amendment rights. On the other side of the scale are legitimate government interests such as public safety. There are four common types of searches that the American people can experience. A person, a car, house, and schools. This is why officers will often ask you if they can look in your vehicle. They're asking for your consent. If they had probable cause, they wouldn't need to ask. In closing, guys, essentially, if you have nothing illegal going on, they don't have the right to search your property without probable cause or a warrant. That's the Fourth Amendment summed up into 90 seconds or so.